trees in the forest fall for various reasons. This is the most noble demise, triggering the potential for rebirth and the beginning of another life cycle. Every fallen tree serves as a paradise for the decomposers. They hide beneath the tree and launch the long decomposition. From the time a tree falls to the ground to when it has completely vanished takes about 500 years. During this process, fallen trees play multiple roles. At times, they serve as miniature reservoirs. In rainy season, the trees act as giant sponges, storing water. Especially trees lying on the ground, their porous trunks can store twice their weight in water. The water absorbed into the wood fosters the creation of life in the undergrowth. Moreover, in the dry season, it is a life-saving resource. Sometimes they are regarded as a nutrient bank for plants. Bryophytes that prefer dark and damp places find them suitable for flourishing. Ferns thrive with abandon. More importantly, they are the seed beds of the forest. These two young saplings were lucky enough to have taken root beside rotten trunks. The old dead trees nurture the fertile soil, leaving a sunny glade and water source behind. The sapling's fate binds with the fallen trees. They rely on the nourishment of the fallen. In the forest, nearly 70% of saplings grow beside fallen trees. In addition to serving the plants, they host many insects and animals. Various life forms interconnect, forming a mature forest, accommodating a considerable amount of flora and fauna. The presence of fallen trees marks the forest's maturity as an excellent wildlife habitat. They are crucial in the forest ecosystem. For thousands of years, they have been an important link in the forest life cycle. From death to decay, then to vital rebirth, the cycle repeats endlessly. The magnificent power of life is vividly interpreted. Wherever the trees fall, other beings rise. <laughs>